Yeah, here's a good look at my attic lighting. This is a 5 meter 12 volt uh, LED strip. And then on the other side down there is another 5 meter strip. You can see the split in the two. So there's a total of 32 feet of uh, lead strips down there. And then I have another one which we can go down and take a look at in a little bit. And here is the controller for my 12 volt LED lights up here in the attic. What I have is there's a little uh, control box there that has a pair of banana plugs on each end. That's for the power in and out. I have a switch on the box to let me manually turn it on. And then right up above there, there's a little 12 volt uh, coaxial power plug comes in and that's driven off of a if we zoom in down there there's a little wall wart over in that plug right there you can see and that plug is turned on when the lights in the hallway down below here get turned on so you can see that the hallway light is on and that wire triggers a relay up in this uh, lower box here so there's a 12 volt headlight relay in there that turns on and that sends power out to a, a little uh, 12 volt dimmer up there and we can take a look at that and I'll zoom out a bit and you can see here I can actually dim the lights all the way off and on so I can use that dimmer to kind of control the voltage so that's one of the options I've been using to control the voltage because during the day when the solar battery bank is charging I can get upwards of 14 volts at this relay. Amazingly I haven't had any of these LED elements burn out. They're all still working. They, these were on quite a bit uh, about a year ago. I was up working here just about every day for a hour to in the mornings to uh, get this all finished off yeah those lights have just been flawless unlike some of the other ones i've received where i get about 10 percent of them burning out so, and boy these have just really worked well let's go down and take a look at the rest of the system yeah and here's the other section of the attic that kind of runs off at right angles down here and so i have another five meter 12 volt lead strip this one i use the uh, waterproof outdoor type because the head clearance right in here is kind of low and i didn't want to be bumping up against the uh, sharp led elements and and damage the strip so that strip here has the, uh, the clear silicone coating over the top of it to uh, protect it from damage there's no water up here of course but that goes down to the far end and that was a big project to get down there i've opened up all of the roof boards that were actually in the way originally here there were three boards high and two rafters wide. So there was essentially from this rafter over to this one and then three boards high. So there was about a, a one foot high opening right at the bottom that was open to that other section of attic. So I cleared out, I think about 50 board sections. These are some of the sections I cut out there so there's a pile of wood there and there's a whole pile of wood back here that I basically removed just to open up the attic to breathe more because the where there were signs of mold back in this this far attic area so like right uh, you can see that black staining pretty much all of these rafters right up at the roof level had uh, you know signs of black mold growing there so i used a mold treatment sprayed everything down but the main thing is i've opened this whole area up so that there's airflow in here now and you can see where i cut back all of the internal deck boards out of the way left any in place that were anchored to the outside so everything's still strong but just removed all of these redundant boards because i guess when they build the house they build this 
roof deck and they build the other roof deck and then they come in the middle with this knee wall that they build up over the top. They build that on top of the roofs and then somebody climbs in and cuts out a couple of uh, boards at the bottom there. Probably some minimum number of square feet of ventilation you had to create and that was all they did. Just cut out the bare minimum couple of boards. That whole part of the house over there was totally inaccessible. You couldn't get over there at all. There was almost no insulation back there. There were sections where the only insulation was 50 years worth of dust on top of the drywall because there was just no way anybody could get back there to insulate. That's my three strings of 12 volt lights up in the attic. I like the uh, 12 volt lighting because you don't have to worry about electric shocks and it's all safe. I have it on a seven and a half amp fuse so it's considered a class two wiring. So I have a class two uh, speaker cable here. This is rated for in wall use. It's a UL listed cable. So it's the same kind of circuit as your doorbell or your furnace thermostat. So that's the 12 volt wiring up in my attic. And all the lights, those are all solar powered. I'll turn off the camera light here and you can see that's the uh, light. It's enough to work. It's not uh, super bright. I'll, I'll take a work light out in some of the darker sections. But yeah, it, it works pretty well. So that's my 12 volt attic lighting.